Hi, so today it is a beautiful day in England. Not a cloud in the sky. As you look around here, I mean, yes, it's a beautiful day. So today we got the kids out and they're gonna do a bit of a tractor ride along. So a local farmer put out an invite and said, hey, do you want the kids to, to ride along? And I was like, absolutely. Let's let them ride along. Let's let them see and experience some new farming techniques. And this equipment that's used in the UK is somewhat different than what I've seen in the US, mainly in the size. Now, of course we have John Deere tractors. This is a nice John Deere tractor. We have these in the US, but it looks like a rotary disc tiller. With us, and I'm gonna get clarification from the farmer when he comes over and ask him exactly what it is. But looking at the tiller that he uses, it is large. I'm sure that some farms out in the Midwest have them this size, but the farms that I'm familiar with use much smaller pieces of equipment. So let's take a look at the equipment. Let's look at the tractor. Let's just see what all we can see and let's learn about British farming. Hey Jim. How are you doing? Doing okay. Is it okay we walk out here? Yeah, yeah, come across. He wants to come for a ride. Uh, you want to come? Um, well, maybe one or two of you at a time. I don't yeah, really one, or two, one or two at a time. So hey, tell us, tell us what... what so basically what yeah. we've done is uh, yesterday, I don't know whether you guys saw, but I was what they call drilling. Okay. So I was planting seed. So the machine that I cut slots into the ground, and okay. I might stuck because I haven't got a... Uh, wait, wait here one second and I'll show you. Okay. Seed. Some seeds, you see this? So I planted that yesterday. There's a whole row of them will be in the ground along here. And these are all seeds. You see in, in here, in the ground? So this is what we call like planting the seeds. You see the seeds? Yeah. And then what well, then the other one that's there in here, look. Okay. So they should be all in these lines. There's one there, look, say so right down there. You see them? And they should be in about two inches, which is about there. So about right there. They're about perfect. And then with this machine. We're just rolling it, so we're just squashing it back in again. So you okay. can see, okay. I've, I've already done this bit where we are here. Yeah. And you see it's a bit rough for where I'm about to go. It's all like a little bit fluffy, okay. a bit bumpy. And so this basically just rolls it down and just sort of, kind of flattens it flattens a bit more. Flattens it back yeah, out. And makes okay. it a bit smoother for I us. was completely wrong. I thought this was, I thought this was a, a rotary disc tilling it uh, up. No. You're oh, past the, that point. They're, they're completely obviously, yeah, we're past that point. So, yeah. Um, in the uh, summer, I cultivated this, so I turned it brown. Yeah. And then I've sprayed it off since, and then now we're just sort of rolling it back in. And uh, and then sort of then this will hopefully be ready to harvest in about July, second week in July, something like that. So yeah, what did you plant here? So I planted some oats. So, oats. And oats. the people, the oats it'll go for, so wherever they are, these things yeah. are their little oats, but they're, they're covered in a little red thing, which is um, like a, Basically, they've been what they call dressed, so to protect them from weeds and things like that. Okay, okay. They've been dressed. And basically, these oats are going into, have you ever heard of like oat milk? So like, rather than cow's milk, you have oat milk. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So that's what these will then be turned into. They'll be made into a milk. Make it into a milk. Okay, that's awesome. So you have on your cereal. Yeah. Um, but who wants to go for a ride who's, first? Who wants to go first? Uh-oh, all hands go uh, up. All hands going up. Uh, let's, do, let's do these two. If we could do these two, because so he's not the little one by himself. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, if yeah, you can fit them cool. in. And what? It's Matthew. Yep, and Matthew and what's Trey. Your name? Trey. Come on, then. let's go for a ride. All right, guys, let's back up over here. Wait till they're done. Okay, so Trey and Matthew just jumped into <laughs> just jumped in the tractor with Jim, and they're gonna do do a lap or two around. So I was a little off. I thought that I thought they were tilling the ground. So he's way past that point. He said he tilled back in the fall. He sprayed it off to kill off the, 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 the weeds. He's done that already. And they planted the seeds a couple of days ago, injection, injected the seeds down into the ground about two inches deep uh, in those beautiful rows. It was lined up and everything. So now he's going through and he's just kind of packing the ground down around the seeds so you get good contact between the soil and the seeds. And that's what he's doing now. And he uses a really large piece of equipment because the fields that he's working are massive. So you, you have to use a really large piece of equipment to cover these fields quickly. He has one here. He told me he's doing three, three fields that I know of today. So he's doing this one out in front here. There's another one on the other side and another one in on the back. So this is just a great opportunity to, to get to see some large scale farming up close and personal. 
It's kind of like our Mimi's farm and our old farm, except this part of the farm here where we kept the cows. Yeah, so this farm is 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 growing oats. They're doing grains and cereals, whereas we had a predominantly we were doing livestock. beef and pork livestock, right? We had cows and pigs, so we we weren't growing we weren't growing crops. And we had eggs. And we had chickens and eggs. That's true. So Jim also, Jim has Matthew in the driver's seat with him. So not only is Matthew getting to work on his farm knowledge, he's also getting some driving skills and some driving lessons and it worked in the mix as well. So just to show you, I'm sorry if it's a little windy, but just to show you a clear example of what he's doing out here exactly today, because it may not be too obvious, but I'm gonna come up here to the edge of the area he has not gone over yet. All right, you may be able to see it here if you look, get down low. If we look down this row here ahead of us, on the right, on this side, let me get my fingers in here. All right, so you may be able to see it here. On the right, on this side, it's flatter, and on the left, it's a little more raised. I'm gonna to try to get down low here. Maybe you can, can really make that out. If we can get down low, you can kind of see. It's not a significant difference, but it does make a difference as far as contact with the seeds to make sure that they're pressed down closely, you know, so there's not gaps when they start to grow their roots out. But on this side here is more of a press down, just kind of a fine, just kind of press down, roll down. And then here, you look at this side, you see there's more indentions. You see how the rows are a little, a little wider here. There's a little more gap space, and he's just kind of closing that up. That's he's rolling over it now, going from this, what this looks like, to to this, where it's just a little more uniform, and you press down, press those seeds in place. All right, you ready? I'll take a picture. Oh yeah, that's absolutely, they have that in the house. Absolutely, totally fine, no problem. Come on down, give me a hand, give me a hand. Yep, come on down, come on down. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Go up, Ray. Oh, uh, who won? Uh, I don't know, Matthew seems to think that he yeah. won. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Mike seems to be pretty good too. Uh, you think you're pretty good? We'll let him go. Alright. That's how it goes. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, I like your I like your new dance. Springtime, seeds being planted, lambs are being born, piglets are running around all over the place. So springtime is always a really fun time and exciting time uh, for farming. It's also a very busy time. Farmers have to put in really long hours to make sure that all the seeds are planted and all the fields are tilled. All of these things have to be done in a certain amount of time to hit the deadlines so that you can harvest your crops at the right time. So I've been watching farmers out here 10, 11 o'clock, sometimes even as late as 12 o'clock at night with the lights on on the tractors, trying to continue to get these seeds planted and get the fields plowed and get everything taken care of so that come the fall, they can harvest. This of course is the cycle that leads to your food being on your table. If you like oatmeal, if you like anything that's bread, these things all have to be harvested. The grains have to be processed. Uh, so you have your livestock that's on a cycle. You have your grains, your food fruits, your cereal. All of those things are on a cycle. This is what churns on the background to make sure that when you go in a grocery store, the shelves are stocked and you have the food available for you to get and purchase.
What is this? Uh, what is this called? Rolls. Rollers. Okay. Yeah, just really heavy. So yeah, it's really heavy. And then these wheels here, for when you're in uh, transport, so when you're moving it down the road, obviously you can't have it open like this. So it all folds up. Really? And then you can then take them down the road like that. Okay, so yeah, this will fold so down. It, like, yeah, this sort of tips up like this. Okay. And then you drive forward and then they then basically pull in behind. So and and, those, and those, are, those are your road wheels? They're your road wheels, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that's been the experience today. Uh, Rolling a field now, pressing it down around the seas. This field on this side is done. There's another field behind me. Still has to be done in the other fields. So Jim's gonna be out working well into the evening, making sure he gets these seeds planted down. He says in about four months, the seeds, everything will be germinated, everything will be grown up and should be able to harvest. So in about four months time, we'll be back out hopefully with the combines and going through the harvesting process of harvesting the oats. So hey guys, I really appreciate you taking your time. If you like these content, you like what we're doing here, be sure to like and subscribe. The kids and our kids and I are having a wonderful time here. Again, this is what it's like for us living in the UK. Hold on, let me let you hear it.